Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's video on C pointer array and strings. I want to use this medium to thank all those who have subscribed to this channel. Those who this content have one way or the other help and they are truly share their comment. I really appreciate you. That is the goal. The goal is to help somebody out there. That's why I'm burning resources, data, time and everything energy to just make sure I help somebody out there. And if my own goal, my goal is to help you. And if I've been able to help you, I'm grateful to God. Okay, let's quickly go into today's question. We are going to take tax, uh, today's tax, and this is the requirement. We are going to use Vim. We are going to use Ubuntu 0 uh, 20.0.4, using GCC compiler to compile. All our file will end with, with a new line. We are going to create a new file. We are going to make sure our code is Betty compliance. We are, we are not allowed to use global, global variable. Okay. We are only allowed to use five functions, right? Per file. And we are not allowed to use standard libraries. Okay. We are allowed to use put car. And we are going to create this underscore putscar.c, okay? Or better still, we'll take it from our previous exercise, okay? This this dot, this main.c, we'll take it from this this code here. So from the example they give, they've given us, we can take it from there, okay? You, we can take it either from this side, okay? There, that is what we are going to use, okay? We'll take it from each of the exercise. Just be creating our own personal main.c. Okay. Then what we'll do next is we'll create our header file. Okay. And we'll push our we'll push our header file to our GitHub. So the number one question says write a function that takes a pointer to an int as parameter. So it receives an uh, the pointer that receives a pointer that takes uh, okay. Write a function that takes write a function that takes a pointer to an integer as a parameter. You can to take a pointer to an integer as a as a parameter, then update the value it point to uh, to twenty eight. So the value is pointing to we we'll update it to twenty eight. So this is the prototype here. Okay, and let's quickly go through. Let's go straight into our question. Let's open our sandbox. Yeah. So the next thing we are going to do here is to create all this, all the prototype, which is our, our main header. So we have to create all the main header first. So let's go there. You see the into our directory. Sorry, our repository. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Into our repository. Then we we'll see the we'll first check what we have there. Okay, okay. So we we'll need to create a directory now, which is this name here. Okay. Let's copy it. Okay. Now let's make a directory. Okay, now we have made the directory. Let's check. Is there anything inside? So let's see it into the directory first. Is there anything inside the directory? No, there's nothing inside the directory. So the next thing we are going to do now is to create a readme file. Okay, let's create a readme file inside the directory. Okay. Okay, now let's check if it's there. Oh, fantastic, we have it inside. So the next thing we are going to do is that to create our main dot header file. Okay, now what I will do is what I will do is I'm going to create I'm going to create all the header file from one to ten. I will just take my time and create all of them so that we create it once and for all. Then every other person, you know, you don't need to be creating it each time. 
creating a tag. Yeah, answer you answer in an exercise. Okay, so press your eye on your keyboard. Then the next thing you do is to type them one by one. So I have to pause this video, then I'll type it and get back. Thank you very much. So this is the these are all the header files that I've put inside. Okay, so make sure you pause the video and ensure that you type what you are seeing so that I will not be you will not be sending me message to check your code for you again. Please make sure you check it. It's really important that you, you take your time as a programmer to debug all these things. This little little syntax, comma, star, all those things, they really they are they, they really they really affect your code. So that's that on the uh, main dot header file. This is your main dot h file. Make sure you save it like that. Then we go back to we go back to okay. Now the next thing we are going to do is to let me clear my clear my. So the next thing we are going to do is to we to create the underscore putka file. But since we have it here, um, since we have it on the we've done it uh, which day we did it in the last exercise. So let me quickly go and copy it there. So what I will do is I will just go back and um, then I'll cd into the new this repository for I think. This is it. Let me check this. Yes, this is the what we are looking for. So I'll copy it into the other directory. So I'll do cp underscore t and Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm copying this code, this put car, instead of typing them again, so I'm copying it into this directory. Are you getting it? So that's what I'm doing now. So it's done. It's done. Let me go and check. Let me see the, let me see the out of this. Let me see the dash. dash. Then cd into the directory. Five. Okay. And let's check if it works well. Fine. Is there? You can see it here. So we have our file now. So the next thing we are going to do is to go to this section here to create that file. Sorry, we have not created the main file. So let's create a. Zero dot main file. Okay, let me just before then. Let me quickly no. Let me just do that. Let me create it first. So let's co just copy the main file. Let's create our first main. Command C. Let's say zero main. Let's see. Okay, sorry. I'm using V. Okay. And let me and so I have to arrange it now. So what I'll do now is I go up. Go up this way. Okay. So we are good. So let's go up and so we we just have to make sure all this is a part of the work. Exactly. A T 
Our Auntie Betty will not be disturbing us for our code. Okay? So let's save now. This is our main.c, 0-main.c. Okay? So we have how many files now? Let's take it. We have, okay, now, now what is really now is to go and get to create this main file now. This is where the work is. So remember the question, sorry. Remember the question <coughs> to write a pointer to take to, to, to write a function that takes a pointer to an integer as a parameter and update the value it's pointing to to 98. Okay, so let's go V. Yeah, for those that want me to have a, a white background, I don't know how to change it. I've, I've tried it once. It didn't get, I didn't get it right. So if you know how to change my back, my terminal to white background so that you can see it very well. And I'm using Mac now, so I cannot even, so I don't even know how to zoom in. I've tried all of what I know. It's not working. So I try zooming in on the terminal. It's not working. So that's why. So if you know you can drop it there, I will be grateful to learn from you too. So here now, what I need to do now is student time start mode first, then I'll start typing the code, let me pause it. So this is the code, this is the standard input header. Okay. Then um, this is the code. You can see the main here. So you just make sure you type what you are seeing. On window, I can increase my screen, but on Mac, it's not working. Wow, <laughs> it's working. Wow, so command plus plus. Ah, I was there. So it was working, so you can see my screen now. Better. So zoom in and take it very well. So that is the code. So then when we are done now, we save we save and exit okay let's save now okay now we are back to our terminal so let me clear the screen so that you can see it very well fantastic so now what we need to do now is to add the git of Okay, or let's actually run it first. Let's run it first. Let's run it to be sure I could. Okay. Before we add. And that's the PC is running. So Let's go. Let's that was compiling rather. Sorry, now this is running. Okay, so we have our code. So the next thing to do now is to add them to git on enter and commit git commit. From my eyes and reduce command. Okay, so we have a question. Let me check our question. This is question. Let me reduce the screen so that I have 200. Okay, let's check. Fantastic, you can see. So just copy 
as you have seen, don't add, don't remove, so that your code will run and you pass your, your exam on time. For people that are still behind, that are still behind, please just try and meet up. The video I've done is enough to make you pass. So please subscribe, like. Thank you very much.